Hello, student of grade 11. Uh, we'll do NCRT maths exercise 7.2 permutation. This can be for general maths as well as for applied maths. The syllabus is same. So let's do permutation. Exercise 7.2 is about permutation. So permutation means a permutation is an arrangement in a definite order of number of an object taken some or all at a time. So this is a definition. That means permutation is number of ways how you can arrange the things. Arrangement, okay. If you when they say permutation, you just say always think that in how many ways we can arrange. Like in the last video, I have explained that uh, in how many ways three pens and uh, two shirts can be put. That means just an arrangement I can do in a six way. Similarly, permutation. Permutation means just an arrangement only. Let us do this theorem. In the last exercise, we did not use formula. We just did directly. But this exercise, your next two exercises like 7.2 and 7.3 will apply the formula to solve the question. The number of permutation of n different objects taken r at a time, where the value of r is 0 to n, no, more than 0 till n, and the object do not repeat. If the object does not repeat, then we get this, and which is denoted by npr. And the formula of npr is n factorial by n minus r factorial. Now, what is factorial? When we say n factorial, means we do n n minus 1, n minus 2, and goes on till it become 1, okay? So, for example, 5 factorial means 5. Next will be 5 minus 1, that is 4. 4 minus 1, that will be 3. Like that, you have to keep uh, 1, 1 less till it goes, till the till it reach 1, okay? If it is 6 factorial, I will write 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. You have to know that. Now, formula, this the usage of this formula npr suppose i am i have i'm using a seven digit number there are seven digit and i'm going to make three digit number for example in the last exercise this is all about without repetition okay there's Seven digit number suppose one two three four five six seven I have to use only I have to make three digit number that means seven p three in the last question we have uh, discussed like we can put here all the seven digit number if one digit is used we can use only six here I can use only five so seven into six into five but in permutation we can say that we can arrange in there are seven digits and we are going to make three digit number without repetition so we can say 7pr what's the formula 7p 7p3 means it will be 7 factorial by n minus r means 7 minus 3 r is 3 so we'll get 7 factorial by 4 factorial so how to solve this uh, 7 factorial means 7 into 6 into 5 into if you want to stop somewhere just you can put factorial instead instead of like writing 4 into 5 into 1 i stopped here because downside we have 4 factorial so that i can cancel these two so you are getting 7 into 6 into 5 the answer is 210 so if you, there are 7 digit number and uh, there are 7 numbers but you are going to make three digit numbers so three box is applied we write 7 pr and we get this you are getting actually remaining 7 into 6 into 5 and the answer is 210 okay so while doing a question this is solving how i'm showing you but we can do directly also how 7 p 3 means i'll start from 7 but i'll 3 means i'll go till three times so 7 into you will go backward counting till 3 times 7 into 6 into 5. So we got this answer only. Suppose this is 8p5. 8p5 means I will go 5 times, okay? 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into 4. You will go till 5 count. 
if it says 8p2 that means i'll go to two count only i'll go with only two digit because this is two so eight into seven if it says 8p3 i'll go eight into seven into six i hope you're clear please note down this formula npn means n factorial if it is npn if it is 5p5 means 5 factorial if it is n p n minus 1 that is also n factorial and if it is n p 0 that is 1 always so not this formula let us do exercise now so let's do theorem second theorem also the number of permutation of n different object taken are at a time where repetition is allowed if repetition is allowed the formula is this one okay like if we are going to use seven digit number and we are going to form there are uh, seven numbers one two three four five six seven and we are going to uh, get three digit number with repetition that means i can use seven p three because you are using three so that will be the answer so npr is the formula okay <coughs> let's do this theorem the number of permutation of n object not all distinct taken all at a time where p objects are alike of one kind and q are alike of second kind then we have to use this formula for example suppose we're going to find the number of ways we can arrange this so we can say how many uh, alphabet are there one two three four five six seven so we can say seven factorial divided by any repetition is there we can say m is double so we can write divide by two factorial a is also double we can again divide by two factorial r is also double that means we can divide by two factorial that is the formula okay if repeat uh, some alphabet or digits are repeating suppose we want to arrange this alphabet first we'll count how many are there one two three four six seven eight nine so we can arrange in nine factorial ways divided by repetition a is one two three four so four factorial and l is two into two factorial in that way we can do the arrangement if some repetition of alphabets are there okay let's do exercise let us find this 8 factorial simple when we say 8 factorial that means we'll just do 8 into 7 into you'll go backward 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 till 1 you have to go Se 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 then multiply this number that will be your answer if you multiply you'll get 4 0 3 2 0 okay let's do this second question 4 factorial means 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 3 factorial means 3 into 2 into 1 so multiply 6 4 is 24 minus 6 that is 18 simple question so similarly you have to do this one as a homework 5 factorial you must get 120 7 factorial you must get 5040 and 7 factorial minus 5 factorial you must get this one okay so do this one as a homework similar method only let's do this one question number two they're asking are they same three factorial plus seven uh, four factorial equal to seven factorial so we have to check so let's check lhs the left part three factorial plus four factorial that means three into two into one and four factorial means four into three into two into one six plus twenty four you are getting 30 let's do rhs rhs is seven factorial so rhs is seven factorial seven factorial means seven into six into five into 
4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Multiply this. You get 5, 0, 4, 0. Are they same? They are not same. So we can say 3 factorial plus 4 factorial is never equal to 7 factorial. Okay? Let's do question number 3. <coughs> Let's solve this. And this will be a homework. Uh, 8 factorial, I can write 8 into, since 6, 6 factorial is there, I can stop till 6 factorial, okay? 8 into 7 into, when 6 come, we can end it here, 6 factorial. So that I can cut 6 factorial. And 2 factorial, I can write 2 into 1. So 6 factorial is gone. We can cancel this 2, 4 times. Now multiply, 4, 7 is 28. Similarly, you have to do this and get 66, okay? Let's do question number 2 also. 7 factorial means I can write 7 into 6. Since 5 factorial, we can cancel, so we'll stop here in 5. 5 factorial. And here 5 factorial, we can cancel. 7, 6 is 42 is the answer. Okay, done. Let's do question number 4. Please do this as a homework, okay? Question number 4. Simple question, we have to find the value of x. Since 6 factorial will be common everywhere, so I'll just write n everything in 6 factorial, okay? Here I can write, instead of um, 7 factorial, I can write 7 into 6 factorial and that's 6 factorial so that I can cancel 6 factorial throughout. 8 means I can write 8 into 7 into 6 factorial. That means 6 factorial is in the denominator throughout. That means I can cancel 6 factorial throughout. So you are left with 1 by plus 1 by 7 equal to x by 56. Take the LCM. So downside after LCM you can cut but it's up to you. You will get 8 by 7 equal to x by 56. Cross multiply. Or you can cut this down below below you can cut. 7 1 time. 7 8 times. So your x is x into 1 is x. 8 8 is 64. So value of x is 64. Simple question. So you can try this at home. Similar question answer of x will be 100 okay let's do question number five n is given r is given you're going to find this so n factorial by n minus r factorial so put the value n is six that is six minus two factorial six factorial by six minus two is four factorial so this one you go till 4 factorial. That means I can write 6 factorial as 6 into 5 into 4 factorial. I'm stopping at 4 factorial so that I can cancel this. So 6 into 5 is left. That is 30. So similarly I have to do this. N is 9. So I'll write 9 factorial by... 9 minus 5 factorial 9 factorial by 4 factorial so i since 4 factorial is there i can go till 4 so that i can cancel this 4 factorial so 9 can go as 9 factorial can go as 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 factorial by 4 factorial cancel this multiply the remaining number You'll get 15120. Okay, if you multiply 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into 5, you'll get this one. So, similarly, you have to do this one as a homework. In place of R, you'll put 2. In place of N, you'll put 5 and get this answer.
Okay. Pause the video and write the solution. Thank you.